Hello creative people. Have you ever wanted to turn your sketch into a pattern? Well, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna to take this sketch from my sketchbook and turn it into this. Hi, I'm Mel and for those of you that don't know me, I'm an illustrator and surface pattern designer from Wellington, New Zealand. I earn a living illustrating children's books and products, as well as licensing patterns for fabric, home decor and a whole range of diverse products. On this channel, I post tutorials on how to illustrate and create patterns in Procreate and Photoshop and also how to make a living as an artist. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, to start we're going to create a canvas. So I'm going to click on the plus sign up here and I'm going to create a 3000 by 3000 pixel square. And then I have a I have this sketch that I did in my sketchbook and I'm thinking this could be a really cool pattern so I want to bring this in to use as my my guide so I'm just going to take a photo of it so if I just put that down here and then if I go to actions and then add and then take a photo okay so I've taken a photo and I'm just going to click on use photo and I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to just increase the size of that. I might actually take it all the way out for the moment. And then I'm going to change the blending mode on that layer to multiply and change the opacity. Now for this pattern, I want to uh, create a diamond pattern. So what I mean by that is that I'm going to have a diamond here and I want to keep all of my elements pretty much inside it and then we can repeat those diamonds in the four corners and that creates a really cool pattern. So one way to create a sort of guide for that is I'm going to create a new layer and just drag that down to the bottom. Just drag in any color and then if I grab the move tool make sure snapping is on. I'm going to rotate it to 45 degrees and then we just want to resize it. And for this I'm going to turn, oh, sorry, I'm going to change it to freeform and then just drag it in until it snaps. And there you can see it's just snapped to the edge and it's a perfect diamond and then we can release that. And then I will just bump that down as well and maybe change it to multiply. We just want that to be just visible as a guide and I will actually lock that as well so we don't move it accidentally. And then we can create another layer below and this is where we can start to colour. Now for the moment it's going outside of my diamond so I'm just going to resize my sketch. Oops, we want the uniform on for that so that it doesn't get all screw, screw with. And I'm just going to drag it in until I'm happy. You could obviously sketch your own flowers or whatever you want to um, sketch in here on the iPad itself. And that looks pretty good. And I do also want to fill in these other pieces. So I'm actually going to change the blending mode here to maybe linear light. I'm just wanting to remove the paper effect. So you can play around with the blending modes to do that. And then I just want to copy some of these elements into these gaps here on the diamond. So I might start with this flower. So if I just grab the selection tool, I can select it by just tracing around it. And then you've got an option here called copy and paste, or you can do three fingers swipe down, then copy and then paste. So we'll just do that for the moment. And then you have to swipe again to paste. And then we can move this one to another spot. I'm just gonna put them over here. 
might need to change the banding mode as well or just like bump it down a bit and I might actually change my brush to the pencil and just oops I want a darker color and I don't want it so big and I'll probably end up changing that slightly so and then I'm going to merge that down and copy this flower these flowers here to another spot I'm going to use the copy and paste down here and then I think I'm going to put them over here I'm just going to turn the snapping off so I can move them without it jumping and I might grab this branch here so let me just merge that down again and let's grab this one it doesn't matter if you go slightly over the edge of your guide um, it just means later on that you have to make some adjustments but I actually prefer it to go over because then it hides the repeat better if you've got overlapping um, so I'll show you how we can amend that and make sure it fits nicely later and so I'm just going to keep doing this until I filled my diamond Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We may need to make some adjustments later, but for the moment that looks pretty good. So what I like to do now is just quickly test it out to see if it will repeat nicely before I start adding color. So I'm just going to duplicate that and then I'm going to add a marker at the top right hand corner and then the top, bottom left hand corner and the reason for doing this is that now when I select the entire layer it selects the entire canvas if I didn't put those marks it may not go to the edge of the canvas and we need that to make sure that the repeat works properly so now I've got that I'm going to just drag it up to the top and actually we need the snapping on snapping and magnetics and then drag it to the top until it snaps and you can see two orange lines and that tells you it's in the right spot and then over to the left until we get those orange lines you're going to try that again it's been a bit problematic sometimes when it does that i find it easier to use this arrow the selection tool up here to release it now all I'm doing, I'm not going to completely release it, I'm just looking to see if there's any overlaps and we do have a little one here which we can fix. So I'm going to delete that now and actually adjust that and I'm going to just use the liquid liquify tool. So if you go into adjustments and then liquify and just make sure I've got that selected, I do. Let's go back to liquify and have this push on here and I'm just going to like nudge it in slightly and that will allow it to fit nicely when we move it up to that top so I'm just going to repeat that process so I'm going to um, create a duplicate and then we can add our marks again and then let's just go to the top and left again and that's looking a little bit better we could possibly move it in a little bit more or we could move that leaf up so let's remove that and use the liquefier tool again and just nudge that up a bit obviously when I go to color I'll make it make sure it looks all good but for the moment we're just playing with the sketch so it doesn't have to be perfect and let's try it again so I'm just going to repeat this process until I am happy and I repeat it every single corner um, just to make sure it all fits nicely before we commit to the color all right and then okay that's looking way better now it's fitting nicely so I'm not going to release that I'm now just going to grab it and take it over to the right 
and then we do have a little overlap here so what I can do is I can change this um, flower here and then we've also got a gap in here that we could fill as well so I'm going to get rid of that and I'm actually just going to delete the um, branches there that were getting in the way and then I am going to grab this little one here copy and paste it into this gap here and another one over here okay I'm happy with that let's just merge those create a duplicate and put a mark in those corners and test it out and I just noticed there's a overlap here so I need to fix that as well so I'm going to remove that and might just move rotate this one a bit so I'm going to cut and paste it and make it fit a little bit better okay let's merge that down create a copy and do our marks again getting this right now um, is way better than having to try and fix it later once you've got the color so it's um it pays to take the time now to get it working nicely before you commit to any color all right let's try that again over here okay it's looking a bit better I might actually move it slightly more so I'm just going to speed this up and do each of the corners and then we'll head into the coloring okay everything's fitting quite good now we are ready to dive into the coloring so I've got my layer here I'm going to just click on that one um, I have a color palette already selected here um, and you can download this palette if you want I'm probably only going to use um, maybe three or four colors from this palette but you could use them all if you wanted to and I want a dark background so I'm going to go with this blue so I'm going to add that to the background layer and then I'm going to create another layer on top and I'm going to start with this color here and I'm going to use the monoline brush and I'm going to use the monoline brush for everything this one comes with procreate it's not a bought or an extra brush it, it is in the go to find it's in the whoops the calligraphy library so you can find that there um, I like to keep thing the brushes that I'm using in the recent here and I put a star so if you swipe to the left and you can I'll unpin it for the moment but you can pin it so it stays in your recent and I like to do that when I'm working on a certain project but if you do want to find which library they come from you can also click that find and it will take you to the the library that they are located in so there's a little trick for you all right so I've got my monoline, monoline brush selected and I have my color and I'm just going to start and I'm going to use this color for all the uh, the branches and leaves and then just to, to fill it I can drag in the color and then I can click on continue filling and just tap the other spot there and I'm going to do all the this color on one layer Thank you. 
Okay, now I'm going to move on to another color. So I'm going to create another layer and I'm going to select this yellow and start with some of the flowers. And I'm going to do another layer and use this lighter blue. And I'm now just adding details to the elements um, just to make it pop. Okay, I'm happy with that. I think I am ready now to create the pattern. So to do that, we're going to copy the diamond into the four corners. So let's grab that first. I'm just going to group all those elements together, just not the background. And we can probably get rid of the guide now. We don't need that. And we need to unlock that first and then delete it. And then I'm going to turn off the background color and then that background layer and then if I use three fingers to swipe down and select copy all and then three fingers to swipe down and then paste. Now if you don't see that copy all you can actually get to it also up here um, in the actions menu and then copy canvas which is the same thing it will copy the whole canvas and then if I delete so what that's done it's created a merged layer so I'm going to turn off my group layer turn my background layer back on and then we need to create those guides uh, corner guides so I'm just going to paint those in there in there and then let's create a duplicate and then turn on snapping and magnetics and then we're going to go to the top left so if I just drag it up until it snaps and then across make sure you've got two orange lines and then release it and then I'm going to copy that first layer again duplicate it and then let's take this one to the top right and then duplicate it again and go to the bottom left and once more for the bottom right. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So let's hide that first original layer and you'll see we've got those little marks there. So let's merge those four corners together and then we can delete the marks in the middle. And, oops, we didn't actually merge. Let's try that again, merge and then delete them and then turn that one off and turn the original one on and delete the and make sure we're on that layer and then delete the corner marks and then turn the other the corner layers back on and we can merge that together now so now we have a repeating tile and we can test that out to make sure that it does repeat nicely so duplicate that four times 
we might turn off the original one and then for each one we're just going to reduce it down to the quadrants so if I select that and we can drag it until it snaps into that corner and it should say 1500 by 1500 pixels if you started with a 3000 by 3000 and then you can release that and we'll just do that for each of the layers until we have all four corners reduced down to a quarter and there we have our repeating pattern so I would then merge those together so we've got a small one and then we've got a large scale one and then we've also got the original grouped layers there and you could then I would export this one as a so go to actions share and then jpeg and this will allow you to export it or save it to wherever you want to which you could then upload it to a print on demand website like spoonflower um, if you want to have it printed on fabric that would be quite nice um, and so that is it Thanks for watching creative people. I hope you learned some really cool tips for your pattern designs. Now if you want to learn some more pattern design tricks in Procreate, I recommend checking out this playlist. Otherwise I will see you in the next video. See ya!